Okay, this is going to be a full-fledged rant. I'm going to have a little fun with this, but if you don't like hearing somebody sort of yell and scold, then you are watching the wrong video. I have lots of nice ones on my channel, or some nice ones. Anyway, thank you, YouTube, for featuring my voter tag video. There are a lot of hater comments, which is fine. That comes with a lot of views, and some of them are actually very funny. But there is also something else that is not fine at all. Let me quote. One of them says, I would vote, but democracy is a tool to undermine and exploit people. Check out my channel. Oh yeah, if we could only get rid of democracy. Let's move on. The one and only Captain Awesome left this comment, voting makes you ugly and have a poor sex life. Don't vote. And then Captain Awesome submits a video response in which he encourages his viewers to contact their congressman about Viacom. Dude, I know it's a joke and you cover politics, so maybe you're being completely sarcastic. I hope so, because if not, you're giving your leverage away. Maybe you are being sarcastic, but there are too many of these comments. And here's, here's actually my favorite. This is going to be the last one, my favorite. He says, I vote for myself every day. The sooner everyone else does, the sooner they will transcend their useless ways. P.S. This guy's gay. Okay, this attitude is not new. I have been listening to these PhDs in American jackass for years because I've been registering voters for years. It's the cavalier tough guy who is proud of his rebellious decision to sit on his ass no matter what. And what's that life like? Well, you go to work, and you pay your taxes, and you buy your new toys, and you throw away your old toys, and you're a perfect little drone. And when election day comes, it's all, I don't vote, man. I live my life. I don't support the system. I live my life! Yeah, nice life. By the way, what do you do when I'm out voting? Another hour of Guitar Hero, perhaps? I hope you use that time wisely, because there is something no one has ever said and no one will ever say in Washington. And it goes, Sir, we just got some numbers in from the field and, well, the people, you see the people, they're not voting. They're staying at home. They're, they're watching American Idol. Oh, damn it. I had no idea it was that bad. We'd better start making this government a lot better, or else they might stop expressing themselves altogether. Yeah, doesn't that sound wonderful? Maybe we'll have a day when the only people voting are the evangelicals and the trade unions. Wow, that is a great goal. Thank you so much for that. And I know how you get to be so self-assured, imaginary guy that I'm talking to. In most cases, it's because you're hanging out with a group of people and you get to be the political one. And they support you because you're fired up and you sound like you know what you're talking about, but that's because, and I'm sorry to tell you this, you're hanging out with idiots. You're not wise. You're not principled. You're fucking soft. You're soft. Your scrutiny, soft. Your work ethic, soft. You found your way to the only possible worldview that asks nothing of you. That is so convenient. Now, this does not apply to everybody. It doesn't apply, of course, to people who vote, but it also doesn't apply to a whole other set of people. The people who are working on something. There is a small group of people who do believe in alternatives to voting, and they believe that a greater society is possible and that voting works against what they're trying to build, which they are building from scratch. And these are principled, determined, and truly impressive people. They're easy to recognize because they work harder than the rest of us. They work harder than me because I don't have as far to go to get what I want. I just want this government to work. They want something new. So if you're one of them, I applaud your ambitious commitment. But if your political life is so minuscule that you are less active than the average voter, then your righteous philosophy is nothing but cover for your sad, selfish, unethical triangle of life that is going to work and paying your taxes and buying things. And then going to work and then paying your taxes and then buying more things. And once in a while you pop up your head and you say, I'm not going to vote. I don't want to support the system. Off to work. Okay? Here's the big final metaphor. I know we've come a long way. We've traveled a lot of ground. But here it is, the climax. This country is a vehicle, and it is approaching diverging paths. In fact, more than two. One way is difficult, 
and another way is also difficult. And all of the ways are difficult. Each path is difficult. Some are practically impossible. Now, if you are a withering flower, I can understand why you would want to duck your head down and wait for the easy path to somehow come to you. But there is no none of the above for us. And the only reason you have the luxury of deceiving yourself is because we are carrying your dead fat ass weight. Get up. Look. Diverging paths. None of them are what you wanted. None of them are what I wanted. But here we are. You can lead the way or you can be dragged along by people who don't give a shit about you. That's the metaphor. And I know you're sitting there, some people with your comments, you've probably already written a few, you're gay, you're gay, gay, you're homosexual, faggot, gay, homosexual, screech. I know, I know, I look like screech. I know. I'm going to go and vote. I'm gonna vote for president and for House of Representatives, and actually most Americans have a Senate election too this year. Even if you hate the Electoral College, there is still a lot to do and a lot of power on that ballot. You can come with us if you want. You can change your mind, no hard feelings ever. But if you're not coming and you claim to stand for something, then get up, get whatever you need, grab a shovel or a Bible or a rifle or whatever the hell it is you're going to use instead of a voting ballot and you get to work. I'll see you when I get back. And if you're still sitting there with no vote and nothing else, then you ain't shit but a trifling, lazy leech. I'd rather be screech than a leech. Bring something to the table.